Hey, Kyle the Grey here with something a little bit different today. Well, I say that, but it's actually really similar to the last video I posted that was not Cookie Clicker. With that in mind, this game does not take you to the useless websites. Oh ado, no, let's start it the takes video. you to weird or confusing eBay purchases. Being a poor boy like I am, I will not be making any of these purchases. But I still thought it would be fun to see where this website will take me. Being that I'll only be on this website for about half an hour, I probably will not come across everything this website has to offer. Saying that, as always, it will be in the description below if you want to try it yourself. I think I've rambled on long enough, let's begin the video. So if I didn't explain this good enough before, this is called Sell Me Something Weird or Confusing. And of course, I'm going to click Please. And it brings you to eBay, and brings you to something weird and confusing. I probably already explained that though. So this is the Cat It's Your Brush Lick em Like Their Mother Cat Red Giftable Love Gift New. Honestly, not the craziest thing I've ever seen. I think I've seen this on Shark Tank though. I don't think it got a deal. But at least they get 99.2% positive feedback. That's, that's very good for them. Well next, product. Hey, this isn't weird or confusing, it's a Chia Pet Bob Ross. There's nothing weird or confusing about that. I want one of these. I guess they're not completely expensive, all things considered. But they're still just a Chia Pet. But 100% buyer satisfaction. Not that bad. This one's a pet Christmas Santa Claus costume dog, dog, cat, suit, with cap, warm coat, animal clothes. A few moments later. Okay, that's just an outfit for an animal. Honestly, not really what I'm expecting when it's called weird or confusing. Uh, this one's called J Gift of Nothing for the person who has everything man, woman, quirky men's. What is it? Can I zoom in on this? You have received a gift of nothing. Absolutely nothing. This is the ultimate in minimalism. Less is more, more is less. Nothing is precious, nothing is simple, nothing is sacred. Open the pack and be enthralled when nothing happens. Allow nothing to flow through your mind and calm your soul. Save at the moment. Soon you'll discover that nothing really is so much better than something. So, so you're saying to me, I must spend 1016 plus 517 shipping and handling for nothing. See, this is the quirky stuff I came here for. This one's called PlayVision 450 Nose Aerobics Basketball Classic Game. That actually looks fun. I take it back. That does not look fun. I mean... It's weird, not really confusing. It's very obvious how you would play this. Doesn't look very obvious how you'd set it up, though, but that looks fine. I, I wouldn't pay $25 for it, but whatever. This one's called a uh, Bud Head Game Fun Novelty Family Fun Poop Head Party Hat Velcro Ball Game Toy. Wow, that's a mouthful. So, uh, yes, looks very enjoyable. Catch the poop on your head and find out who's the ultimate poop head. I mean, it's, it, sound, it seems fun enough. I mean, cheaper than nothing. Yeah, I wouldn't buy it, but uh, 185 people did, and it's viewed five times per hour. Uh, Pooping Pooch's White Elephant 2019 Gag Gift Calendar. Is it... <laughs> it's just, it's just a calendar of talks taking a dump. Is it wrong that I want to get a 2021 calendar of this? Literally just... Dogs pooping. <laughs> Can't believe it. There's really something out there for everyone, isn't it? I, I don't think I say this, but I want a pooping pooches poster. Not poster. Calendar. Well, next one. Oh boy. That's not a happy looking cat. Inflatable unicorn horn for cats. Halloween costume or for fun. <laughs> Ships in one day. I mean, I, I have a cat, and I think I would actually love to put that on my cat, honestly. It's literally just an inflatable horn for a cat. Completely useless. So this thing's a liar. It says, if I got it today, it will deliver by the 24th to the 26th. It's the 18th. That's not one day. But I'll let you off the hook, because that cat is amazing. The product is amazing too, but I won't dish out $7 for it. Next product. Oh, I heard of this before. It's a yodeling pickle. Brand new, lowest price of $13. And it's the last one. Too bad. It's literally just a yodeling pickle. Oh boy, are there a lot of yodeling pickles out there. Next product. Oh boy. Uh, fashion custom home decor pillowcase, Nicholas Cage pillowcase, 20 to 30 inches. <laughs> why is this here? This is not weird or confusing. The only thing confusing is why someone will want this in their home. Honestly, it's like a novelty item. 
I mean, if you, if you like Nicolas Cage that much, why not get a pillowcase off of my ass? Anyway, uh, next one. Uh, banana slicer, fruit knife, kicks and gugzit, bar, tools, veggie, cutter, stainless steel. What's, what's so weird and confusing about this? This actually seems rather useful. Why wouldn't you want to use this? It literally just cuts bananas into perfect slices. And it's only $5. I see no problem with this. So yeah, it's, it's just a banana slicer, a slicer for your banana. So, uh, next product. Uh, formal hander pants. Fun novelty, fun gag gift. Dirty Santa White Elephant. So it's just underwear for your hands. <laughs> I was mistaken, I would call them fingerless gloves. But no, no, no. They're hander pants. Honestly, yes, these are more novelty items, just like everything else here. Would I get these for someone? For like a novelty gift or a funny gag gift? Probably not. I mean, I would actually rather buy the poster. And uh, I just realized, might need to censor some things up here. Cause those, <laughs> oh boy, glow in the dark, huh? Creative, I'd say. <laughs> Hand pants, decent product. Next one. Uh, read and roll, toilet paper roll, magazine, iPad, tablet, PC holder. What's so wrong with that? It's not weird or confusing. Oh, it's probably the price of $45. That's outrageously high priced. And for what? A magazine holder? There's something called the ground. If you can't touch the ground while you're taking a dump, you clearly need a smaller toilet or bigger limbs. Anyway, it would be a great idea if it if it didn't cost so much money. Honestly, forty-five is a lot of money. Anyway, uh, that's that's enough. Uh, toilet paper, magazine, tablet holders that will break the budget. Next product. Oh, this is a scary, vintage, creepy clown photo, freaky, strange, weird Halloween costume. Honestly, since uh, it's like 1.30 in the morning, I don't want to be looking at that right now. But I'm just gonna leave before I have nightmares tonight. Ah, realistic wolf. Werewolf Brown Glove Costume Accessory Zagoon Studios. Oh, I mean, they're half, well, over half off, 6% off right now. I wouldn't pay $60 for these. I also will not pay $25 for these. I guess they look fine, though. I mean, they, they should look fine. They're 60 bucks normally. So, uh, yeah, they're werewolf fans. So next one, I guess. I think I'm gonna do three more from here. So, uh, well, three more working ones. Sometimes, if the product does not exist anymore, it just brings me straight to the eBay page. I've probably been skipping all those times. It's been a few, but it's not that bad. Do you want to play with my balls? <laughs> By the Kifaldi brothers. Okay, I, I know this sounds dirty, but there's just children playing with balls. That's not good. Honestly, this is, this is just great. Do you want to play with my balls? Honestly. <laughs> It's probably not the best thing yet, but it's one of the funny ones. Well, that's been, uh, do you want to play with my balls? There's not much more to it. I can read the product, but it looks pretty self-explanatory. Kids playing with balls. It's got yellow balls, red balls, blue balls. <laughs> yeah, I just made that joke. Last one, let's make it count. Well, didn't count. Eventually. Here you go. God. <laughs> Grasshopper mask with electric prop costume Halloween decoration. Wow. What a way to end it. It looks like one of those, like, mountable things in uh, Animal Crossing, like the bug heads. But I guess that is going to happen when it's literally a bug head. So it's, it's an interesting thing to end on. Clearly I'm not going to be wearing this as a mask during this time of crisis. But it'll definitely be a conversation starter. Anyway, I think here is where I'm going to end this video. So overall, I think this is actually rather fun to do. I clearly did not experience everything, so if you want to try this yourself, there is a link in the description, as always. So if you liked the video, why not consider leaving a like? And if you're new, subscribe if you want to subscribe. Right now, being that I'm in college, these like non-cookie clicker videos might come out less and less, as I have more stuff to do. Saying that, I'll still try to post three days a week as usual. Though it might be more cookie clicker than actual content. Oh, what am I saying? My cookie clicker videos get more views than any other video. Also, I'll be taking this Friday off because I have something bigger planned for next week Monday and I'll need a little more time to actually edit it. I think I rambled enough for one day and I must have been able to pass the 10 minute mark by now. So anyway, I'll see you all in the next video. See ya!